The refractive suit is the most advanced of all machines that we use for laser vision correction. It is so accurate because each component of the laser and the laser delivery is tested by the machine in a self-test table. So these are the 18 parameters that are checked by the machine. Of these 18 parameters, even the laser pedal, the operation microscope, the slit lamp, even the function keys of the keyboard and also the door of the operation theatre, whether it is open or closed, because that has a major implication on the laser. An open door might cause pressure to leak, temperature might verify, uh, vary in the inside the OT. And these are the even the most simplest of parameters are checked. And finally, the self-test succeeded message will come. Now the self-test is over. Then we go for the actual calibration of the laser. This examiner laser works on argon fluoride gas. And the gas has to be changed every three days for the laser to work with high level of perfection. If you see here in the monitor, the gas has been changed yesterday and the indicator has come green. And the next parameter is energy check. That means the gas is utilized for the laser to deliver some energy and that energy has to be checked. If you click on that, the energy check starts. For energy check, we press the laser foot pedal and the checking is in progress. So now the target energy was 1.61 millijoules and the exit energy also is 1.61 millijoules. That means it's a perfect energy setting for the laser. Now that the energy check is over, next is the scanner test. In scanner test what we check is, this laser is a scanning laser. That means it recognizes the patterns, then it fires the laser based on the patterns that it recognizes. So this is the predetermined pattern for the test of this laser. So what we do in the pattern test or the scanner test is, we place a black carbon paper like this. This is a, a test format. We place this on the, on the near the laser head where the patient, patient's head is supposed to be. And then when the laser fires, this is the pattern that we are expecting as the output. So we roll the machine towards the patient's side. Now the patient's head, part of the bed has come under the laser head. This is an artificial human, human head that is for purely testing purposes. Place this here. Place this black test paper like so. Focus it very well on the screen here. Then fire the laser. As a result of firing that laser, this is the pattern that we expect as an output. And this can be checked by a simple tool like so and the pattern is recognized. So why is this pattern test very important? This pattern test is very important because this is a pattern scanning laser. The laser uh, scans the patient's eye, recognizes the patterns and fires the laser based on the patterns of the test input as well as the continuous OCT pachymeter that the machine, machine is acquiring. So this is the conclusive evidence that it recognizes the pattern and fires based on the pattern. After the scanner test, the most important test is the eye tracker test. Why is this test very important? This is because the laser will compensate for the, each movement the patient's eye will make. Because the patient is very anxious, first of all, it's a surgery or a laser. The patient will come to the operation theatre, he will be very anxious, he might move his eye slightly. So if we don't have a mechanism where the laser head can follow the patient's eye according and track each movement, or if the movement is exceeding a certain limit, the laser will stop firing. This is the most ideal situation. So in an eye tracker, it's fixed, fixed on the laser machine where it tracks the patient's eye constantly. Even the mildest of movements is compensated for. If it is within the allowable limits, the laser head will move along with the patient's eye and the laser will fire accordingly. If it is outside the limits of the eye tracker, the laser will stop firing. So this is the very great safety feature built into the machine. And this eye tracker test has certain graticules here, markings on which the laser fires 
and even a slight micrometer of variation is tested and then the laser will tell you if it is within the acceptable limit or not. So this is the image of the eye tracker. Now these are the lines and each line represents 1 microns on the laser. So the laser is supposed to fire at a predetermined value. Now we will see what it is supposed to do. So this is the pattern we see once the laser has been fired. This white ring what you see is the pattern which the laser has made and it is very adjacent to the black markings and it is a very concentric pattern. It does not overstep the boundaries, it does not under fire on any areas and this is the precision which is the laser works. And this safety feature is not so pronounced in several machines, older generation machines like Zyab, Dix, etc. Now we will take a look at how the laser is going to fire. This is the actual laser firing. Now just witnessed the laser firing and it took very less time, less than one second I would say. And this is the world's fastest LASIK laser machine, the Alcon Wavelight Refractive Suit. At 500 Hz, it is the fastest laser in the world. And why is speed very important? The Alcon Wavelight Refractive Suit at 500 Hz takes only 1.3 seconds to correct one diopters of myopia. Why is that very important? If you opt for the older generation machines that have the 100 hertz or the 200 hertz, one diopter of myopia takes 3 to 4 seconds for correction. So if a patient has minus 6 diopters of myopia, it will take 30 seconds for the treatment to be completed. 30 seconds is a very long time for the eye to be exposed to a laser. And at that time, the cornea gets very hot and it becomes very dry. In wavelight refractive suit at 500 hertz, firing at 1.3 seconds for one diopter, a 6 diopter myopia takes only 7 seconds as opposed to 30 seconds. And 7 seconds is a very minimal time for laser exposure. The cornea stays very cool and it heals very fast. That is why a faster laser machine gives very good results and brilliant clarity of vision the next day.